Hi, I'm Tara Capel. And I'm Margot Brierton. And we're from the Queensland University of Technology in Brisbane, Australia. And we are going to present our work on what is human-centered about human-centered AI, a map of the research landscape. The term human-centered AI is increasing in use, responding to growing concerns about AI's potential to exploit and mislead. The term human-centered AI creates the impression that AI is to serve the people, but human-centered AI means different things to different people. Is the human the subject of an AI algorithm, the user of AI products, an agent in the design of the AI system, and so on? Is human-centered AI being used as an aspirational term, like sustainable mining in the resources sector, or trusted autonomy, with great debate as to how and whether it can be achieved? There are various and broad definitions of what it means to frame, design, and evaluate human-centered AI. Let's look at some existing definitions. Zhu proposes human-centered AI as AI solutions that are ethical, they avoid discrimination, maintain fairness and justice, and do not replace humans. Uh, the AI technology fully reflects human intelligence and ensuring that AI is explainable, comprehensible, useful, and useful. Uh, they're focused on the role that HCI professionals should play in its design. Schneiderman defines human-centered AI um, in designing for high levels of human control and computer automation to increase human performances, um, avoid the dangers of excessive human or computer control, um, and advocates for participatory design methods uh, being used within a diverse range of stakeholders. Uh, we conducted a review to further understand what the community is defining as human-centered AI. Uh, so we conducted a search in five different databases. The search included any result that was published any time up until July 1st, 2022, that either used the term human-centered AI, human-centered artificial intelligence, human-centered machine learning, or human-centered ML, using the OR logic operator and also accounting for both the British and US spellings of the word centered. This resulted in 2,357 initial items, and after two review rounds, we had 257 papers remaining. We found significant breadth in what is considered to be human-centered AI. We presented the research on this map, as maps are useful for showing the complexity and change in the research landscape. We chose axes of the human-centered AI research space in a way that would bring clarity and light to the landscape after Liz Sanders. We use the horizontal axis to depict the extent to which research was led by a strong technical focus, so AI led towards the left, to human values focused research, human values led towards the right. We then use the vertical axis to reflect the spectrum of whether AI was under design or situated in use. Research at the bottom is more strongly lab focused design research, whereas research at the top is designed in use or studies use. We acknowledge that there could be higher dimensional representations, but these two axes and the 2D map help to show the primary distributions of research. Uh, we have four quadrants within this map, explainable and interpretable AI, humans teaming with AI, human-centered approach to design and evaluate AI, and ethical AI. We also notice an emergence of the field of interaction with AI, the public region in the middle. To the lower left, explainable AI is largely technical research that seeks to explain AI decision-making processes. It's a huge field, but only a small number of papers identify as being human-centered AI. There is much more interpretable AI research close to the center of the map, which focuses on ensuring human interpretability of AI decisions and explanations. In the upper left area of the map, we see a spectrum of research on humans teaming with AI. On the far left, AI simulates a human, so there's little human involvement at all. Progressing towards the right, we see tools to support data scientists and people in the AI loop, so verifying and helping the AI. Research that truly considers how both humans and AI can learn together and what should and should not be automated sits farthest to the right. Human-centered design research is shown in the lower right area of the map, reflecting its human values-led and design-led focus. Within our corpus, 49% of the papers used human-centered design methods, which are outlined in the paper. Research is emerging in speculative design and interaction design with AI, looking at how AI is represented in the user interface and how people use it. The top right corner of the map shows an agglomeration of research in ethical AI, which seeks to understand issues of values, ethics, fairness, and power embedded in AI projects. Ethical AI projects seek to understand and reveal the contextual details of how AI is made 
and how it impacts people. It advocates for transparent processes in the construction of AI models, documenting how data is gathered, what it comprises, who is represented within it, assumptions and mechanisms behind models, how they represent different user groups and perform in relation to those groups and so on. Ethical AI also advocates for consideration of how resources are deployed. For example, creating huge dominant language models versus supporting endangered languages. That brings us to the emergent middle area of interaction with AI. AI uses models based on statistical inference from big data. And this research looks at how people will interact with inferred models in embodied and situated contexts. How will they use them creatively? How can AI system use in the wild inform better and different interaction design in ways that might be unimagined by the AI creators? This research can uncover how to restore agency to users that may be lost to AI models derived from digital data contexts. Research is beginning to ask how people can compose AI for themselves. Contestable AI is a kind of interaction with AI where people compose their own scenarios to and challenge the results of the AI. Research in this middle ground of interaction with AI demands multidisciplinary skill teams that can draw together technical design and human-centered researchers. Returning to the early definitions of AI, we offer a revised definition that reflects the research landscape we uncovered. Here it is. Human-centered artificial intelligence utilizes data to empower and enable its human users while revealing its underlying values, biases, limitations, and the ethics of its data gathering and algorithms to foster ethical, interactive, and contestable use. Early definitions leave open who decides what is good for humans and who benefits which means that AI researchers often make these decisions for themselves from their own viewpoint. Incorporating ethics into the definition focuses attention on the need to consider all who may be impacted, including any other species as any ethics panel would insist. By incorporating interaction in the definition, consideration of actual use is foregrounded. So to our implications, HCAI needs greater collaboration between AI and HCI, AI and HCI researchers to develop new conceptual constructs that account for human relations with AI, guide more coherent interface design, and reflect relationships between user intentions and actions and inferred models from data. We build on views offered by Richard Harper and Alan Blackwell. We hope the map might inform researchers about the breadth of research happening in HCAI, gaps in the way research proje projects are formulated, areas of HCAI that might be embraced to strengthen a team and a project, and that it may lead to research into new HCAI constructs and methods. Thank you for listening. And thank you to those who supported us.